Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. Well, this is my notebook that I'm doing the 52 week Marguerite Miller collage challenge in. And when I did hashtag CW Planner 33 episode, I did say that I would do a video to cover the front of the book. Well, I did it off camera in the end because, um, I don't know, I started looking at bits and pieces, got ideas, started to stick things down and just really got carried away. So this is what I've done. So I've just collaged it with anything and everything and I've actually stamped these pieces of um, scrap paper with Marguerite Miller's 52 week collage challenge so i thought as i deprived you of the front cover we'll do the back so i'm just wondering whether it would be easier to have to have it open like this so all i'm going to do so what i did on the front initially was do sort of like a mini master board so there's lots of different um elements in the background um, which I quite like and I am going to um, see all this probably with Mod Podge I'd say um, okay so the back I thought we'd make it a bit more um, botanical and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some um, I've got some pictures out of collage book here um, which are over here um, a couple of numbers and a word and some kind of neutral coloured scraps. So we're just going to put some of those on. So my mat is in the wash. Well, I've washed it, scrubbed it and um, it's still drying moment so I thought we'd just leave it to dry naturally just taking those edges off and I think I think we'll tear that down like that and possibly have this I'm not going to think too long and hard about it um, I am going to um, distress around the edges so let's put our first piece down so just going to lightly go around them I've got my glue book and glue stick So starting this coming week, um, today is Saturday, I am going to, so let me just make sure I'm in shop for you. Okay, so there's the first piece. I am going to, um, lost my train of thought now. <laughs> Start banking some videos is what I'm trying to say. But I can't seem to tear paper and, and think at the same time. Um, yes, so we're going away from the 1st to the 10th of September to Southern Ireland to uh, stay partly with my husband's parents in they live in Greystones, a suburb of Cork, and partly, um, part week, we're going to travel down to West Cork to the kind of northernmost peninsula there where his aunt Fee lives, and she lives in a place called Ahilis. I've never been, and she has advised us to stay in her holiday home she has a cottage in the village and it's called um the teague um 
which just means in Irish, it means house. So, oh, that's nice on the back, actually, that paper. Oh, that's nice. We can use the other side of the other piece. Yeah, so we're going to stay down there. So we're going to leave early hour. Well, it'd be more like Tuesday night, actually. 31st of August. Travel down to the ferry. And then get over to Ireland. And then we'll drive. We'll get off in Dublin and just drive to Greystones, which is not that far out. And then... And this is lovely, this coffee dyed paper. And then we're going to stay with his mum and dad until Saturday. And then we're going to travel to Fee's holiday cottage in the village where she lives. And then we're going to travel back to Greystones. Um, so I think we'll probably stay there until the Wednesday and then just trying to put the calendar. I've no idea when that is. So if we go first to the fourth to his mum and dad's and then Saturday night we'll get to Fee's cottage. So we'll probably be there until around about the Tuesday, Wednesday and yeah, Tuesday possibly, and then we'll travel back to his mum and dad's and, and finish off our time with them. So, um, yeah, so it'll be a bit odd actually, because I'm thinking, you know, going to have to um, pack up things, get there, unpack, then pack up things and then move on. So that will be interesting indeed and then we'll have to pack up again and move back <laughs> unless we just take sort of a couple of sets of clothes for the, the tea so we're going to put this I think kind of down here I like the shape of it As you can see, I'm not really thinking much about it today. I hope you're all well and doing okay. Now, on one side, we've got earwax, ear trumpet and earthworm. I think we'll have the other side. And I'm going to keep the edge because I do like the colour um, that it goes quite like that. That's going to go there, like that. Oh, would you believe it? That piece didn't have anything on the back. Oh, what a shame. Okay, well, not to worry. Was it that? Oh, no. I think it was a different piece anyway, so just ignore me. As usual, I'm being silly. So I've got this bit, which is out of a book but not Edith Holden and that's quite nice writing and it's a different colour so I'm going to put this on yeah I'm quite looking forward to it now it's getting close I can't believe how quickly time is flying to be honest so I'm going to let's just tear down this, I think. I'm kind of have this. It's not much on that side. So we'll have it that way. That's the right way up. Yeah, a bit like that. Yeah, so now I've got to start thinking about um washing and ironing and all that, telling my husband not to wear anything that he might want. 
It's last chance saloon. If he wants anything ironed next week. And washed. I shall have to have a look and inspect what he thinks he's taking. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does that with their other halves. <laughs> but um, you never know with him. He could get something out of the wardrobe that was ironed when it went in, that probably doesn't look a bit ironed when it comes out because of the way he's hung it up. So there's a bit of lace paper there. So I'm going to have to be very vigilant <laughs> because what I don't want is to find things that have not been ironed or they look like they haven't been ironed coming out um the last minute so let's just take this off okay Paddy Dog's coming as well because he, he has a, we book him a kennel on the ferry. He's not too pleased about that, but it's not, it's not a really long journey to be honest. And hopefully he'll, he'll go to sleep or bark along with all the other dogs that are in the kennels. Quite enjoys the sound of his own voice sometimes, so yes. I must say he doesn't he's he's a bit strange in the car because he he gets very excited and then thinks that we should be stopping you know fairly soon after setting off because he always knows that getting in the car means we're going somewhere interesting but he's never quite sure exactly how interesting it might or might not be <laughs> So often we drive to places to take them for walks, you know, depending on how far it, away it is. It's nice to go to somewhere different. So, yeah, excuse me, that's my neighbours. Right, I think that's plenty. Okay, so now we'll have a look at what we may or may not put down on the back. So, got some, got a nice selection of plants and some mushrooms. So, I think these are nice. I think we're going to tear around some of these. in a flower or two. Yeah, I'm not sure I want the root on here really, so I'm going to I'm just going to tear around that. have a lot of pigeons around here suddenly this year and um, they keep waking me up in the morning cuckooing you know every morning without fail 
I blame my new neighbour because he's got about four bird feeders in his garden and I think that's what they're attracted to. So I'm actually going to I think take that off completely, that looks silly. So we've got that and that, different colours, and we have lovely mushroom here. And got a sort of number which looks like a piece of film, which might not look much by the time I finished. a nice colour. I don't know how real these colours are because you do see plants like this with blue leaves and things in, in the uh, shops but they're usually forced in greenhouses and dyed. Uh, I don't usually buy anything like that. I usually avoid them because they're, to me they're not natural. They're, you know, man-made almost. Although they're real live plants, I wasn't too keen on on those personally. Okay, another lovely mushroom here. So just going to love the colour that it's on. So the back's going to look totally different to the front, but that's good. I think have it different. Right. Okay. So we've got to think about where we're putting them. I won't put that on. Okay, I don't think we want those red leaves on, so let's have a look at some flowers and see what we can put on. So they're fairly neutral colours, so we've got a lovely kind of neutral butterfly. Oh, we've got a nice bird. That would be nice. What else have we got? I like that colour. Um, and that's nice too. Okay, let's play around with these and see what we think. The art glitter glue down in case we need that. Right, okay. So, I have got another number here. Now, I could make that, I'll see if that will fit into my circle punch, which it will just about. Move that slightly. Okay, so that gives that a different shape. There. Okay. Might not need all of these things. I do like 
the bird and hide the butterfly. And I don't think I want that one now. I'm not sure. I quite like this. Maybe we'll just have those down there like so. And have this coming out of here. Maybe up underneath. I'm not keen on that number now either. Okay, I'm not sure. That's nice. I like that better about the butterfly at the moment. Butterfly might be too big. Okay, right. Just knock those clumsy. Quick look to see if I've got a smaller butterfly at all. No, I've already used them. Get through lots, lots of butterflies. Let's have a quick look. Oh, there's a nice one there that's nice I think I'm just going to go for that it's it looks random I know but that's kind of the look I'm going for still feel you know like I'm not too sure of myself when it comes to collaging I don't know why I should feel like that because there are no real rules only rules that other people think there should be you know 
Um, I mean, I understand about balancing and all of that. But what I do love to see, and, and it's quite... I don't know if you're familiar with with like the Where's Wally books and things where you there's a one character and the page is filled with activity and busyness and all sorts of things going on and you have to find this one little character and there are other characters you know other books that are similar but it's that sort of collage in that I absolutely love that this random everything all kind of where you're looking at it and every time you look at it you see something totally different and that's what I really like about collaging so going to close that and I think I want those like that so I'm going to put that down first and the good thing about collaging, I think, is that if you put something down and then you think, oh, I don't know, I'm not really pleased with that, I don't know if that actually works, you can then put something over the top, you know. So it really is down to personal taste and, you know, all of that really put this down before I change my mind the longer I look at things the more likelihood there is that I might change my mind anyway so I don't really want to be doing that this moment in time Now, I do want that up there and this coming out of here. And then we've got this we could sort of have together maybe. And our bird here. this group of mushrooms together so that could be behind there hmm have we got one more plant let's have a look now that's a nice delicate one so we're just having a think I quite like those together. That's kind of to me that's something like that might grow together. So quite delicate sometimes some of these when you've cut them out and they're on quite narrow stalks if you like. I think I'm going to have these up here like this, so I'm going to just use the art glitter. Put this down because it's on thin card. Like so, and then this one. I wanted to do a bit of gardening today actually, but it started to really rain, quite hard, fine rain, sort that, you know, you really can get wet in after 
over time. So that was that. Okay. So I'm going to use the glue stick for this one. the bird Put the bird there draw the butterfly here and the bird here I think here Just a lovely bird. Very pretty. Right. I'm very pleased with that. It's raining again. I can hear it. It's absolutely teeming down. Doesn't bode well for tomorrow for little Maze's second birthday party. We'll all be indoors, I think. Right, now, do I want to add anything or shall I just leave that as is? Just going to hold it up. Now I've got the spine. I've got to put something down here so we could do that. And then I will off camera Mod Podge all around it. Seal it down for eternity. Then I can't change my mind, can I? So this one I even did a bit of stamping on it and stickers so I'm just looking now to thinking do I need to add anything else I kind of think something should go there so what else have we got No, I don't want that. I think I'm just going to get my stickers. Oh, actually, let's have a look at some labels. So, if we... Oh, here's a nice label. It's botanical, it says. So, we can put that there. says botanical concerning botany describing plants in general relating to the science of botany and its discipline in reference to plant life it's quite nice it's a bit big though mm. oh it's a nice label there all the threes i seem to be picking out threes i don't know why today Oh, a nice word. Let's see. Let's have a word. We've got a word that says books. Well, that's random, isn't it? Books. And also, we have this one that says flourish. 
that's nice. I think we're going to use those. That's going to ink round these. Let's just cut round this a little bit. straight oh, right okay and we might put that on the back of something like I just gotta get my tea bag jar down off the shelf I haven't had this out for a while need a slither there's a slither on the top that would be quite nice just have that layered there like that then at least when I mod podge it it's not going to be in the way it has to be something that can easily be mod podged really So we're having that there, and we will put that like so, and that there. We've got a little bit sticking up, which I hope is quite nice. there a little cluster of tea bag that's better now that needs sticking down that's why it's good to mod podge over it really Let's get it all now I actually like that really like it I hope you like it um and there's a front and there's the back all different and then I'm going to think about something to go along here uh not sure really what what we're gonna put there. Um right, I have here some lovely linen trim which is all patterned with it's floral. This car this colour is darker. It's like a brownie. It's like a yeah, it is a brown. It's just that the pinks make it look pinkier. But there's also this one, so I'm thinking, as it's quite narrow, I'm wondering whether to just put a piece down there like that, or whether we just put a piece of lace. I quite like this, I think it's different, and I think that would match in, so let's see. So, is it going to be this one? Or this one. I think I'm going to plump with this one, so I'm going to cut some off. And I'm going to use the beacon three in one, I think. Um, am I? Actually, let's use the fabric glue. The cheapo fabric glue that seems to work really well and I'm just going to use the top it's quite it's got its own kind of spreader on so just do a thin bead down there I don't know how far over it will be is there a right or a wrong way? No. So, okay, this is going to be very sticky, so I'm just going to lay it on there, like so. Oof! I just want to, before I lay it down, I 
kind of get it even and do this with it. I mean, it's still in my collage book, it's not, you know, it's just, I don't know. So maybe it's not going to stick, I don't think. We just hold it for a minute like this. Oh. Doesn't want to stick. Not there anyway. And I'm very, very, very gluey now. Right, okay. We put that away. I will have to use some beacon. I just want to see what happens if I open this. No, it's not going to interfere with that. Okay, let's just put a bead down here. I think it's because this. this um, cover of this notebook is glossy and that's why I don't think it sticks it's probably better for sticking material to you know material or cardboard because I have used it on cardboard and it's fine it's very effective so Slimy trail down here. Let's leave that for a minute. Yeah, I really like that trim. It's a bit like upholstery material, but it's kind of been edged down the side here with some sort of gold thread and um, turned into kind of like a, a piece of ribbon really I suppose right so there we have it okay so that was the front which I did off camera that's our little label for that week coming out um, which I did off camera and I stamped all of that onto some just very, very thin coffee dyed paper. And then I've really gone to town with the collaging. So there's lots there to look at. And then today we've done the back, which is the botanical theme. So two different sides, front and back. And now put that on so that's now got to dry so I have to leave that to dry somewhere okay hope you enjoyed that and the next time you see me for Marguerite Miller's 52 week collage challenge we will be on week 34 hashtag CW planner 34 so I will be busy looking for pattern paper which I don't think is very difficult because we've all got pattern paper something grey might be a bit more um challenging an illustration that's good because we've got lots of books something in the shape of a hexagon text from a book page well we've all got book pages and the bonus is paper that has a stain or is stained so that again i've got coffee and avocado stained papers um you could use some stain and stain something up um may use all f all six of those including the you know the five plus the bonus or we may leave something gray out it just depends on what i have that's actually gray i'm trying to think that i possibly i have got a janie b kit one of her digital um journal kits which is muted um greys i think so that i may have a look on on my laptop and see what i can find on that so you know the pattern paper could be something gray because i may have some pattern um scrapbook pads with something gray in so uh that 
is a big possibility actually. I have got a I have actually got a little pad somewhere of some it's a bit like origami, it's very small little sheets. So I could find that out, see if there's anything grey in that. Anyway, that's what we'll be doing next time you see me for this particular project. So I shall be busy looking for these and letting this dry in the meantime. So there, all done and probably may put a little tie on here. Eventually we'll see how much of a crocodile mouth we have. Okay then, thanks for joining me and um, I'll see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.